Hey everybody, I want to talk to you about should you list homes during the holidays? Should you leave your listings on the market during the holidays? A lot of you have reached out with those kinds of questions. They're coming up with a lot of the realtors here in our company and I want to talk to you about it. Homes do sell during the holidays. We came out with a blog about it about four weeks ago, five weeks ago. Mythbuster, homes do sell during the holidays. They do, guys. They do. And if you've been, if you were on the market in say September and October when inventory is at its peak, keep in mind I always talk about inventory of homes for sale. When inventory is at its peak, now inventory is going down. Why would you take your product off the shelf? Remember, if the product is not on the shelf in the store, it does not sell. Okay, so that's my advice most of the time. And what I'd like you to do is go onto our website, LamakiRealty.com. You know what? We'll post it in the. Uh, we're going to post this link for you all in the comments. If you look at this, you're going to be amazed at how it actually is pretty easy to sell a home throughout the holidays. And the chances of selling it is actually only, it's barely 2% less. What we did is we went in and we looked at pending sales per week, homes listed for sale. We went back from 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, studied it all, put together this graph and we show sellers how it's really only about a 2% less chance of selling a home between Thanksgiving and Christmas or the new year. But then if you took out the Thanksgiving week and took out the Christmas week, it's like 1%. So my message to you is before you're so quick to agree with your sellers or tell your sellers, oh yeah, let's come off the market for the holidays, look at this blog and educate yourself and educate your sellers. Now, the other side of this, and I don't want to sound like I'm contradicting myself, but I want to mention it. I always teach our agents and I teach all of you, tell sellers the truth, okay? If it's a vacant home, if they're pressed with a need to sell, leave it on the market. If there's someone who their price has been right for two or three months, well, there's really no price that's on the market two or three months, but if their price is basically right, if it matches the competition in the area and it's not selling and they're not in a terrible rush to sell, then fine. Take it off the market. Up here in Massachusetts, our MLS rule is 60 days off market. When you go back on in day 61, you show up as new in the system, then do it. Go back on in February. I always say February is the best month of the year to list a home. So there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, with telling your seller that if it if it works for their game plan, but if they need to sell, you know, if they moved out to a new home and now they're stuck with this one, maybe you listed it late summer when the market slowed down, show them the data. It is not as hard as you think to sell a home or they think to sell a home during the holidays. So I hope this helps you guys use the data, use the talking points from it, be straight with your sellers about it, be honest with them, recommend what's best for them, which nine times out of 10, eight times out of 10, my recommendation to a seller at this time of year is leave that home on the market. If the product is not on the shelf, it has no chance to sell. Because remember, buyers that are looking at this time of year, this is the last point I'm gonna make, buyers that look at this time of year are very, very serious buyers, okay? They're not tire kickers, they're not just lookers, they're people that are out to buy. So you may have less showing activity, but usually the people that are looking are real. That's all folks, we'll put it in the comments, and uh, that's it, have a good week.